Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Frameworks Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 28. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about basics of custom library in Code Igniter. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, so far we have seen about several libraries in Code Igniter. So if you go to the next slide, now inside our Code Igniter video playlist, we have covered these libraries in which is inbuilt feature of Code Igniter like session library, form validation library, file upload, migration, user agent and URI library. So basically these libraries we have created so far. Now inside this video, we are going to create a custom library means a user defined library so what are the basics while creating a custom library we will see inside this video so if i move to the next tab so i'm going to in that and creating libraries so custom libraries are those libraries which makes application more functional a statement is clear it means that custom libraries are those libraries which basically user defined means user makes their libraries for custom functions it means that many more functions we can add by using custom libraries in code igniter so how can we create custom library in code igniter so basically guys here we have very simple steps by following which we can create our custom libraries so first of all custom libraries are created inside library folder within application folder so if i back to code editor now inside that this is application folder inside this folder we have a folder something called libraries all custom libraries created inside this folder so just go to our slides and now in the second point library file names must have naming convention it means that we have some naming convention point while creating any custom library so what we have to follow file names must be capitalized it means that for example we are going to create a library and our class to be something called myclass.php next class declaration must be capitalized it means that if we have created the file something called myclass.php so we have to make the class name as called myclass and always the first letter should be capital of the class name as what we have the file name and third class names and the file names must match so if i back to code editor let's create a custom library which basically shows all the steps and by following which we can make more functions to our application so go inside libraries folder you will find about index.html file only so let's create a file something called let's say my and again click on libraries folder let's create a new file my functions dot php the first letter i have put capital as the file name so if i copy this file name pressing enter and a file has been created inside libraries folder remember we are going to declare our class so class name and the file name should match so let's say class this is our my functions and remember the first letter should be capital as what we have with the called file name okay so inside my functions i am going to create some of the functions which basically calculate let's say that function and this function basically converts all letters into let's say uppercase so function let's say convert or let's say my function let's say uppercase inside this function if you pass any string value let's say that if we pass any string value then this function will convert the string into uppercase so what basically we have to do we have to return and we are going to use our php function for that so str to upper this function basically converts our string into capitalized so if i copy this string copy that and pasting it here the first function we have defined inside our custom library so how can we use this library to our controller so back to our controller section and inside this controller section we have created a my uri controller in our previous video 
So let's say that inside this controller, we are going to use our custom library what we have made and using its function to convert any string value to uppercase. So how can we load that? So basically how we have loaded our existing libraries of code igniter by the same processor we can load our custom libraries too. So just to get rid of that and let's say we are going to declare an array inside this array first the user agent we have used and the second library we are going to use something called my functions. So it should be something called my functions. Either we can declare our custom library inside this array or which we can just use something called this load library and inside that we can something write let's say my functions. These are the two ways or either going to inside config folder inside autoload.php inside this file either we can pass our custom library function right here. So there are multiple ways to load any libraries inside code igniter. So just back to controller, I'm going to comment this line. Let's say that I'm going to use the function what we have made inside our custom library. So back here, copy this library name and let's say that I'm going to make a function. So let's say function, let's say simple run inside this function. I'm going to call let's say this load or something my functions. This is our library name and inside that library we have called my uppercase. So if I copy the name of the method, so just copy that, go to controller, pasting it here and inside this method I'm going to pass a string. So let's say that online wave tutor. So if I save this file and let's say that echo, I am going to just print on our browser. So back to our routes.php and let's say that route, let's say custom library and it basically runs, let's say controller, inside our controller this is small case and inside that controller we have called run method. So save all files, copy this route back to our browser and let's say that index.php and this is the route that we have developed pressing enter and the string that we have passed is converted into now uppercase this is what we have developed as the custom function inside our custom library so if I back to slides now next how can we call as we have seen that first of all if we want to use the methods of library, we have to first load that. So this is the way to load that, this load library and here we have to pass the library name. By loading that, while calling any method, this, this should be the library name right here and the methods what we have defined inside that library. So back to editor and let's say that we are going to make one more functions inside our custom library and let's say that function function name is remove let's say space so inside this function what we have to do firstly we have to pass our string value inside that value I'm going to remove let's say that this is a string and something this is the value and what we have to do first let's say that a string and we have to remove something space and let's say that this word should be separate by underscore and if the letter is suppose something capital S, capital K, then automatically we need to convert into lowercase by separating with underscore. It means that we have to remove a space and we have to put underscore in place of that. So how can we do that? So let's say that is string equal to str something we have the PHP function called replace first parameter we have to pass that what we actually we want to find that so this is the space we are finding so let's say space and after finding that what we have to do that we have to put underscore in place of a space and finally this is the string value where we want to apply means inside this string we have to find this space and replace with underscore and finally we need to convert into lowercase so let's say string 
equal to something str to lower this is php function inside that just copy this string value and put inside here and I think that we haven't copied that so copy that value pasting it here and finally we have to return this value so save this file back to our controller and we are going to use that so if I let's say that putting it object tag so let's say br and finally we are going to use that so echo let's say this my function is the custom library and inside that we have a function something called remove space and I'm going to declare that so let's pass online web tutor again save this file back to our browser reload this page and as we can see that a string value is now in lowercase and all the spaces is now converted inside underscores so if I back to slides as we have seen so far by guys my making a custom libraries custom libraries are those libraries which makes application more functional what we have seen by following these steps now if I move to next tab in coordinate application basically we have several options with our custom libraries first option we have already seen inside this video that we can create entirely new libraries what we have done with our my functions library we have defined inside inside libraries folder so back to our slides next we can use native libraries in custom libraries it means that we can use also our native libraries it means that the user defined libraries what we have seen here we can use these libraries inside our custom libraries too next we can extend native libraries it means that these are the libraries we can actually enhance or increase the features of this libraries then we can also increment all these features by using our custom library so basically guys inside this video we have completely covered about the first point and we have seen about that what are the basic steps that we have to follow any custom library in CodeWriter application and also we have loaded that and we have used two functions what we have made inside our application. So if you have any doubt inside this video guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day.